Okay, folks, so I want to share something kind of interesting here uh, that I was tracking on the flight tracker today, and I think it's very, very curious because I had cut up this video here a little over a week ago on the Janet Jets, the damn it, Janet Jets video. And in this video here, I had mentioned something about some other flights and interesting uh, air traffic that I was tracking on the flight tracker. And I had mentioned here, um, about red flag exercises because they've been doing red flag exercises here in Nevada again. And I thought it was kind of curious because I was seeing on the flight tracker radar anyway, um, you know, pretty much all the branches of the military. And then I put on there, just not the Marines. So I think that's kind of curious because today when I was tracking aircraft around Nevada here and around our local area, I actually saw a U.S. Marines, not the actual craft itself, but I did see it on the flight tracker radar. So I think that's kind of curious that I put up this video a little over a week ago mentioning that we don't never see the Marines. And though I think that's kind of curious because I um, was tracking on the flight tracker radar and there was this interesting thing that popped up here where I clicked on it and it's a Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion. U.S. Marine Corps. So I thought, well, what do you know about that? Hmm, that's kind of curious. And it just kind of hung around Lee Canyon there. And then it just kind of disappeared over by uh, Dome Mountain area and over by Perump. But, I, you know, and then this one here, Raider 31, again, a U.S. Marine Corps. You know, I've never noticed the Marines here in Nevada. You're not even during you know, red flag exercises, and even my husband, you know, kind of noted too that, yeah, I just, just don't see Marines, be right? So, I just think that's kind of curious that a little over a week has gone by since I put up that Janet video mentioning something about how I was seeing all of the branches of, you know, the military represented during these red flag exercises, just not the Marines. And there's Creech Air Force Base right there where it just kind of disappeared off the radar. But there was also something else that was very interesting. There was one called, um, just bear with me, let me see if I can find it, web captures. Yeah, there is, um, the Vandal 01, I believe it is. Yes, this is it. And I'm going to show this a little bit closer here. Uh, zooming in on the screen, I'll bring that down. You can see it's U.S. Army, V-A-N-D-L 01, and it was hanging out to the north of our location at a place called the Nerva Test Stand, Nerva Test Cell A, and it kind of went up and up to the north of our location there. A Sikorsky UH-60M Blackhawk that was hanging out by the Nerva Test Range. And if you're not familiar with what Nerva is, I'm going to go into that into, uh, in another video because I was able to find uh, quite a bit of additional information on it, even current information where NASA and DARPA are talking about uh, building a nuclear rocket by 2027. And if you're not familiar with what NERVA is, it's uh, that testing is for testing nuclear rocket engines, nuclear rockets. And I'm going to cover a little bit of information on Project Rover and some of the NERVA programs in another video, but I just, I just had to share that with y'all because I thought it was kind of curious that in the Janet video, I mentioned that I don't never see any Marines around here, and they weren't present during red flag exercises. And lo and behold, today, what do we have? We have a Raider 31, and something I've never seen before a Sikorsky CH 53E Super Stallion. I would have loved to have been able to actually get eyes on these things rather than just tracking them behind the flight tracker radar. But we're like all the way down over here on the other side of the valley. Yeah, we're like right over in here, like in zoom in on this a little bit. You can kind of see there's Perump, and we're over on this side of the hump, Perump, right over in here. So it was kind of hanging out to the northwest of our location up by Indian Springs and that. But I just thought that was kind of curious, and I just wanted to share that with y'all and give you a heads up. There's going to be another video upcoming very soon on some more information about Nerva. Yeah, Nuclear Rocket Engine Technology Program. And we're planning on testing these things in the near Earth orbit within the next couple of years. So, oh, that's right. One more thing, too. There was another, um, a couple other ones, too. This was another one. This is a 
Aero Modicoli L39C Albatross that was flitting around up there. It had an interesting profile on it as well. So I'm assuming this is another one of their test ones because it was coming up out of the north area and was heading up towards uh, the test ranges and stuff. So I just thought that was kind of curious too. Lots of interesting activity around here today, including some Janets too. So I'll be doing another video featuring some more Janets that I had captured coming in because they were coming in very fast and they were coming in uh, short. We'll say that. And it's almost as if they were trying and attempting to avoid getting captured by my camera. So, anyway, U.S. Marine Corps here in Nevada holds. I just had to share that with y'all. Please stay tuned. Know that I appreciate you and that you matter very much to me. Please stay safe and mindful.